Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question which says the cost of manufacturing of certain items consists of $1000 as overheads, $15 per item as the cost of the material and the labor costs x square upon $10 for x items produced. Find first slope of the average cost function, second slope of the marginal cost function, third how many items must be produced to have a minimum average cost, fourth if Cx is equal to 7 upon 10 into e to the power of minus x upon 7, verify that slope of the AC curve is given by mc minus ac the whole upon x. Before moving on to the solution, let's discuss about the average cost and the marginal cost. First we have the average cost. It is denoted by AC and this is equal to the total cost of producing and marketing X units of a commodity upon the total quantity of goods produced. So this is equal to C upon X where X is the quantity of the goods produced. So average cost AC is equal to the cost function C upon X. Next we have the marginal cost which is denoted by MC and this is defined as the rate of change of the total cost C with respect to X. So DC upon DX is MC which is the marginal cost. This is the key idea that we use in this question. Let us now move on to the solution. In the question we are given the overhead charges then the cost of the material, the labor cost and they all make together the cost of the manufacturing of the certain item and it's also given that X items are produced. So on adding the overhead charges, the cost of the material per item and the labor cost, we would get the total cost of manufacturing. So the total cost is equal to overhead charges which are given as thousand dollars plus the cost of the material that is used now it is given that fifteen dollars per item is the cost of the material and since there are x items so fifteen x dollars is the cost of the material used in the production. So we add here 15x plus the labor cost which is x square upon 10. So this is the total cost if we have that x units are produced. Now in the first part we are supposed to find the slope of the average cost function. So first let us see what is average cost. It is given as C upon X where the C is the total cost and X is the quantity of the goods that are produced. So in the first part we have average cost AC is equal to C upon X where the C is the total cost. So average cost AC is equal to 1000 plus 15X plus X square upon 10 which is the total cost upon X. 
or we can write this as AC is equal to 1000 upon X plus 15 plus X upon 10. Now, slope of the average cost function is equal to D by DX of the average cost that is AC. So, this is equal to D by DX of 1000 upon X plus 15 plus X upon 10 which is further equal to minus 1000 upon X square plus 1 upon 10 or you can say this is equal to 1 upon 10 minus 1000 upon X square so we have slope of the average cost function is equal to 1 upon 10 minus 1000 upon x square. So this is our answer for the first part. Now in the second part we need to find the slope of the marginal cost function and we have the marginal cost MC is equal to D by DX of C or DC by DX. So first of all we find out the marginal cost denoted by MC and this is equal to D by DX of the cost function that is C. Now this is C, 1000 plus 15x plus x square upon 10. As we have C is equal to this, so MC that is the marginal cost is equal to D by DX of 1000 plus 15x plus x square upon 10. So, this means we have the marginal cost MC is equal to 15 plus x upon 5. This is the marginal cost. Now, slope of the marginal cost function is equal to d by dx of mc so on differentiating mc with respect to x we have 1 upon 5. Thus slope of the marginal cost function is equal to 1 upon 5. So this is the answer for the second part of the question. In the next part, we are supposed to find that how many items would be produced to have a minimum average cost. Now, let's move on to the next part. Our average cost is 1000 upon x plus 15 plus x upon 10 which we have already found out. Now, we have to find out the number of items produced such that we have minimum average cost. So for this we will apply the conditions of maxima or minima. So let's find out d by dx of the average cost which is equal to minus 1000 upon x square plus 1 upon 10. Or you can say that d by dx of ac that is the average cost is equal to 1 upon 10 minus 1000 upon x square for maxima or minima we take d by dx of average cost as 0 that is 1 upon 10 minus 1000 upon x square equal to 0 
which gives us thousand upon x square is equal to one upon ten and from here we have x square is equal to ten thousand. This gives us the value of x as hundred. Now the number of items produced cannot be negative, so we do not take the value of x as minus hundred. So we take only the positive value of x that is plus hundred. Next we find out d2 ac by dx2. That is we differentiate d by dx of ac with respect to x. So we get minus thousand into minus two. Upon x cube, so this is equal to 2000 upon x cube. Let's now find out d2 ac by dx2 at x equal to 100. So this is equal to 2000 upon 100 cube. That is 100 into 100. Into hundred. So further we have one upon five hundred, which is greater than zero. Now as d two ac by dx two is greater than zero at x equal to hundred, therefore we can say that the average cost is minimum. At x equal to hundred, hence we can say that hundred items must be produced to have a minimum average cost. So this answers the third part of the question. Next, we have to find that if c x is equal to seven upon ten into e to the power of minus x upon seven, verify that the slope of a c curve, that is average cost curve, is given by m c minus a c upon x. So, in this, we are given c x or c as Seven upon ten into e to the power of minus x upon seven. Now average cost AC is equal to c upon x that is equal to seven upon ten into e to the power of minus x upon seven and this upon x. So average cost AC is equal to seven upon ten x into e to the power of minus x upon seven. Now the marginal cost M C is equal to D C by D X. So on differentiating C with respect to X, that is D by D X of seven upon ten into e to the power of minus x upon seven, we have this is equal to seven upon ten into minus one upon seven. Into e to the power of minus x upon seven. So we now have minus e to the power of minus x upon seven. This upon ten. This is the marginal cost. Now slope of the AC curve, that is the average cost curve. Is given by d by dx of the average cost that is AC. So we will differentiate AC with respect to x. That is d by dx of seven upon ten x into e to the power of minus x upon seven. So this is equal to x square. In the denominator, then we have 
एक्स इंटू डी वाई डी एक्स ऑफ सेवन अपॉन टेन इंटू ई टू दी पावर ऑफ माइनस एक्स अपॉन सेवन माइनस सेवन अपॉन टेन इंटू ई टू दी पावर ऑफ माइनस एक्स अपॉन सेवन इंटू डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ एक्स सो वी गेट दिस इज इक्वल टू एक्स इंटू सेवन अपॉन टेन इंटू माइनस वन अपॉन सेवन इंटू ई टू दी पावर ऑफ माइनस एक्स अपॉन सेवन माइनस सेवन अपॉन टेन इंटू ई टू दी पावर ऑफ माइनस एक्स अपॉन सेवन एंड दिस होल अपॉन एक्स स्क्वेर सो फर्दर वी हैव माइनस एक्स अपॉन टेन एक्स स्क्वेर इंटू ई टू दी पावर ऑफ माइनस एक्स अपॉन सेवन माइनस सेवन अपॉन टेन एक्स स्क्वेर इंटू ई टू दी पावर ऑफ माइनस एक्स अपॉन सेवन and this is equal to minus e to the power of minus x upon 7 upon 10x minus 7 upon 10x into e to the power of minus x upon 7 into 1 upon x that is we have written 1 upon x square as 1 upon x into 1 upon x now we have nc is equal to minus e to the power minus x upon 7 upon 10 so mc upon x would be minus e to the power of minus x upon 7 upon 10x so from this term we can say that this is mc that is the marginal cost upon x and now this is the average cost So average cost upon x is seven upon ten x into e to the power of minus x upon seven into one upon x. So this term is AC upon x. So this is equal to MC that is the marginal cost minus the average cost upon x. This is d by dx of the average cost. Hence we have verified. that the slope of the average cost curve is given by marginal cost minus the average cost this whole upon x if the cost function is given as 7 upon 10 into e to the power of minus x upon 7 so we have proved this also So this completes the session hope you have understood the solution of this question